Um, look, what's that? Burwell Engineering, Northampton, 1864. Hello you beautiful lot, welcome to today's episode of Purple's Railway Adventures. Now I'm here with Jamie Brady of course. Hello. Uh, and we are in Toaster, next to the A43. And of course we love looking at our abandoned railways. So we're gonna follow the Northampton and Banbury dismantled railway into Toaster, where we may be able to find where the station actually was. I think it's under a Tesco somewhere. It is under a Tesco. Yeah, under the fruit and veg I think. But yeah, we'll worry about that when we get up there. So. Um, I think Jamie's going to go live for this one as well. So as he's going live, you'll get some great information as we go along. And uh, yeah, you won't we... get any information. No, not from you. No, 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 no. I already know it. You see, so. <laughs> but yeah, we've got to be a little bit careful because rabbits and other animals have dug up the track, leaving massive craters in the ground. So <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Look. Stuff, yeah. From just there as well. Yeah, you gotta go there. careful. Uh, I, I think you may have to go a couple meters in front. Keep two chevrons apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. Jeez, look. Oh, there's a rabbit on me. I am now live. Good afternoon, Facebook. No, no, I'm not allowed on Facebook. Instagram, which is also <laughs> part of Facebook. I don't make those up. They do, which is why I'm not allowed on one of their platforms, but I'm on the other platform. Thanks, Ray. I'm out here with Purple Vision, Mr. Purple himself, um, and we are exploring uh, the Banbury, uh, Northampton and Banbury Junction Railway, which was dismantled, we believe, probably back in the 1960s as part of, part of Beecham's reforms. Um, so, yeah, we're just out wandering, and we are actually on top of this. Um, this great big embankment that crosses the Toad Valley, coming out of Toaster, and then heading out towards Green uh, Thornton, and then on, on to Bambi down there. Oh, um, Jamie, should we? No, we're following the path, aren't we? Oh, oh uh, you want to see that? Uh, okay, just, yeah, no. It, no, sorry. So he's filming for his, um, his, his channel, Purple Railway Adventures mm. and Purple Vision, <laughs> and I'm just going live because I've got a signal on the phone. Oh, look at that. That's a, no. Oh, wow, look at wow, this. This, is, look. this here, let me turn the camera around. That's a beautiful. This is the River Tove. And I actually used to go swimming in here years and years and years ago. And I did those um, and look, what's that? Burwell Engineering, Northampton, 1864. I, what's that say? All cast iron there, massive red with cast iron. General. Well, founders. How's your eyes? Um, oh, I can't see that. Um, this is Burwell L and Company Engineering General. 1864 is what it says. Yeah, general co-founders of Northampton. Look at that, 1864. That's... I've, got, I've, I've zoomed in as much as I can. You might be able to tell me better than me. Hello, Leanne. Right, <laughs> I've zoomed out. I'm looking after him, don't worry. <laughs> right, okay, so there we go. We're gonna go back up onto the onto the railway yep. and head back towards the station, which we, we we actually know it's um underneath. We actually know it's underneath um, Tesco's. <laughs> We've already been into Tesco's and done a video in the fruit and veg aisle where the station used to be. But because of the way he puts his videos together, yeah. Um it's a bit different. But anyway, so yeah, so I'll continue going on and you can see either side here, sorry, <laughs> either side here. Now in 19 Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? There's a lot of flood defences in now um, to stop that happening again. But um, as you can see, it's a beautiful walk now. And for some reason, back there, when we were just back over here, there was lots of sort of rabbit damage. Oh, milepost! Milepost! Oh, he's found a milepost. Is it a milepost? Yes, it is. Ooh, a yes. milepost is obviously something that says how far it is to various places. Oh. Yeah, it's well damaged. Oh. No, got nothing on it. No, no, sadly. <laughs> 
Oh, excuse me. It's always good fun exploring with Jamie. <laughs> And now we go back into that jungle fired kind of looking area and it's oh it's amazing but look how black the ground is and that's railway ash so when they had all the iron ore or whatever they were calcining they had after the rock had been burnt they used that rock to build up railway banks and raise them up like here so like jamie says they're for defenses as well uh, flood defenses so the railways don't get flooded so much let me catch up. <laughs> oh, got the fun guy. Of course, Jamie does his foraging groups as well. And for what he's taught me about what you can eat whilst you're out and about, like stinging nettles, roll them round, get rid of all the stingy bits, and whack it in and away you go. Right, okay, my arm's getting in, it's all right. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to get to the next bridge, slow them that, and then say goodbye. You reckon? And then um, what I will do, what I will say to you though, is follow his channel on YouTube because this video, maybe not this one, but the video that we've been doing this morning following the uh, Stratford Toaster Junk Midland Junction Railway from uh, Toaster through to uh, Yardley Chase, the other side of Northampton. Which is Stoke um, Brewing and Blissworth, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, through Stoke Brewing and Blissworth and all that kind of thing. And there's, there's a really good section where we get a little ride in a buggy as well. So that's well worth the watch. Um, and that'll be on Purple Vision or Purple Railway Adventures. It might even be on both because he's sort of trying both. out the, yeah, this one's gonna be a the, both. the format of things a little bit more. Yeah. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm, we're gonna get to the next bridge. I'm getting out of breath because um, I don't normally talk. We've, I'm very quiet and no, shy and retiring normally. We have walked a few miles though, mate. Well, we've done a fair bit today. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, I mean, we're surrounded by all this food. Though. <laughs> I, at some point, I will definitely do a proper foraging, foraging walk. Uh, to try and, um, I, I notice more and more people talking about it now as the, um, as the credit crunch, as they're called it, or whatever, what are they call it? The Ukraine effect, or whatever, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> nights and things, so, um, yeah, I mean, I, I walk around here, and I'm sorry, it's birds, actually, and, um, and, um, and, and, and just eat, to eat things as we walk around, because we know what we can and can't. Got some in my mouth now. <laughs> and here we go, this is the second bridge. Oh, yeah. So I think this is just, can you hear the little wren? Let just go across there, wren. Oh, Dunny sound lovely. Get off my land. <laughs> yeah, look at this. So I think this would have either just been for water or for the farmer to get across. Maybe. It's all right getting down, but would you get back up? <laughs> Oh yeah, we're going down. Yeah, I'm going too. Can't let the old boys have uh, all the fun. Oh yeah, look, railway ash. Oh wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's not. Way up. But it's, it's, it's a different style bridge, though. Usually, you see the brick in the I'm middle. I'm fully agree with this. Yeah. Down here. I'm not going to say it because that probably de whatever. And also that, I agree with that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, oh, but then I also agree with that. It's almost like I've been here and painted this, to be fair, <laughs> and I haven't. The reason one that says I'm in the NHS is because that would then finish it off for me. I'd have the full set, it'd be like the top trumps of um, virtue signalling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> lumpy, lumpy. Lumpy, lumpy. I've got my puffer puffer jacket on. I like your Scouse jacket. Your, your mank, your mank jacket. Oh, the other one? Yeah, the, your rhyming jacket. 
<laughs> Did, didn't you say these were edible as well? The leaves of these? Yeah, that's um let me check you've got the right one. Yeah, this is Jack by the Hedge. Yeah, you can white flowers it's, on it's the a top. Mustard. It's one of the mustard family, it's a brassica. That's it. Mm, taste we, it now. And it's called garlic mustard. Taste of the seed pods. And the thing is that with the, with these kind of plants you get different flavours from different parts of the plant as well. Yeah, because that's quite bitter that bit. Mm-hmm. But these bits aren't quite as bitter, are they? They've got more of a juice to them. A musty. Oh um, yeah. Musty flavour. Hmm. All of the brassicas, all of them, so broccoli, cabbage, uh, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, all of them come from wild mustard. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I got you, mate. I got you. Jamie didn't realise I was still filming. Yeah, we're still on that dismantled railway line, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not like that. Just the bad stuff now. Because <laughs> I've got a stick. I've got a stick in it. I've got a ding down then. You reckon it was Instagram telling me I should kill myself? <laughs> Probably Instagram reminding you that you're blocked on Facebook. <laughs> you have used one of our partners to try and get across your opinion. Yeah. This is not allowed. I mean that salt store, that, that gets me. Yeah. That's quite something that is. Yeah, it's why is it really wide? But yeah, salt store. Oh, bit of concrete and rebar. Maybe it was some kind of siding or something. Let me have a look. No, because it's too low down. The sidings would be at the same level, wouldn't they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that salt bin, that's pretty epic. I've never seen one of them. Yeah, no, it's not siding. Ooh. Oh, continue on. Yeah, something's here. I, I can smell sweaty animals. So it's either a muntjac, roe deer or badger. Mm, it's not Jamie. <laughs> so now you see we're coming to one of the oldest roads in England, which is the A5, A the to uh, Watling Street. Oh, the old Roman road? Roman road, yeah, yeah. It goes through Tosto, which they call that before. Yeah, see, I didn't know that before today. Uh, Jamie is actually from this area. Well, he's, he spent a long time in this area, so he's uh, kind of giving me a little bit of a tour of the land that he knows himself. It's quite nice, actually. Yeah, so I, when I lived here, I wasn't aware of any of this because it wasn't something that I was thinking about at the time. It was 20 years ago. You know? Well, to be honest, half the places I've been walking recently, I've been walking most of my life and never even and knew. You can see here, that's nice, isn't it? That is. That's a Vulcan, isn't it? Yeah. No, the Aston Martin. Well, you can thing. see it drops down now. But it, it shouldn't have dropped. Oh, look at that railway ash. But it would have crossed over, there would have been a bridge here, wouldn't there? Yeah, yeah, that goes straight over into the car park of Tesco's. But yeah, this would have continued now. It would have been a big bridge, a little bit like what we had in Rushton and what we had in Market Harborough. Even that little bit of a Wellingborough loop line down on Earthlingborough Road would have had the same. Yeah, that's right. So that's the end of that. But before we end it, I just want to show you our little clip that we've done in Tesco's to show exactly where the station was. So, <laughs> Me and Jamie are now in the Tesco's of Toaster and looking at the map, it actually looks like Toaster's station is right here, under the orchids. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? There, yeah. Look at that. So this is where the, the end of the line is. End of the, the line, line, yeah. What we've been looking for. Yeah. Underneath the reduced chicken. <laughs> Underneath the reduced chicken of Tesco's in Toaster. I don't like supermarkets really, and this just puts the cherry on the cake, doesn't it, really? Get rid of a beautiful station for it. I think that'll do, won't it, boy? I think so, yeah. Yeah, cracking. This was the sidings for the station, wasn't it? Yeah, and when you, when you have a look on the overlay maps, you can see how built up this was for the railways. And now it's just that. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you very much for bringing me out here, Jamie. No problem. Top man. Check out my channel as well, uh, Purple Vision and uh, Purple's Railway Adventures. TikTok, Purple Vision 23, although it's for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you all again in, in a while. Peace, love and light.
The whole heap of unity. Toaster, Northamptonshire, love it.